Hi everyone, and in this video I'll show you how to make a lot of money on Interchange. This video will be split into a few segments. First segment will include me talking about which routes I take, uh, depending on the spawn I get. Second part of the video will be me doing my usual run and explaining where and for which items do I typically look for. And the third part would be me showing you a couple of my scav runs to show you how it could look like. Right before we start, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you sub to the channel. Right now there is only 11.3% of you subbed, which is good, but we can do better. Also click the bell which is right next to the sub button that will allow you to not miss any of the new videos. Enjoy. As I said, my typical route will depend on my spawn, and you can spawn either close to idea, or close to Oli, or somewhere in between. Uh, let's say we spawn next to idea. So first of all, I'm gonna go in. Sometimes I will check the pharmacy shop for Ledexes and defibrillators. They rarely spawn there, but sometimes it's worth having a look. Then I will go straight to idea offices. Uh, in this area you can find GPUs, Tetrises, uh, different items like um, capacitors, G-phones, uh, gas analyzers. Uh, and after that I will go straight to the TTS shop. TTS shop is also a tech store where you can find GPUs, Tetrises, um, and sometimes you can find GP coins and horses. After that, I would sometimes pop into Emercom to look for GPUs and mats. Sometimes I skip it. Then our next step is hopping into German. GPUs and Tetrises, also a tech store. Then I will listen to what's happening on the map. If there is lots of shooting in, um, in Oli or in Rasmussen, which is in another tech store, I might just go to the lockers, load them, and then extract. Or, if someone activated power, I, would, I will hop into Kiba, loot it, and then if I'm full, I would leave, same way. Or, if it's extremely quiet, I might go to Rasmussen, and then loot the back of Oli, and then leave. Now let's say we're gonna spawn next to Oli. If you spawn next to the main Oli entrance, you simply go in, and you run straight to the Techno store. You look for GPUs, Tetrises. You can also hop upstairs up the escalator and there is another tech store upstairs where you can look for the same stuff and generally I do it extremely quick so whoever spawns next to the Oli on this side they don't have enough time to push me or camp me then I go all the way downstairs straight to Rasmussen for more tech items and then I would check Kiba to see if anyone activated power and the Kiba is open and same thing happens upstairs if someone activates, activates power I will typically open the med room upstairs after checking Kibo, I would uh, check German, see if there is any PMCs around this area, loot TTS, and if I'm more or less full, I will skip idea and I would instantly go to the extraction. And now let's look at the situation when you're gonna spawn in the middle of the map. Typically when I spawn in the middle, I have a choice either to push idea, mid or Oli, and the safest way is pushing mid, so I would go mid, I would check Brutal Shop for Killer. Then I would go into Rasmussen to check for Tech. Listen closely to if there is anyone nearby. Maybe I'll fight them, maybe I won't. Check Techno if it's safe. If it's not safe and I want to keep farming, I would go back into German. Loot the Tech. Go into TTS. Typically, if you do this extremely fast, sometimes you will meet people around TTS shop or you won't. But generally people don't push further than the shop. So you check TTS and then you, de you decide which way you want to go. You either go and you check lockers and you can extract by, by car next to power station or you just leave and, and extract. But usually when you spawn around the mid area your extraction is Emercom. So looting, looting lockers and then extracting either through Emercom or through the Uber next to power station is the best way. So after all of this, let me show you a video where I take one of my typical routes and I will explain which items I look for. Also remember that my routes are, tend to be very efficient. Typically I will spend 10 minutes in the game, no more, and it's one of the safest ways. So you won't loot all the shops, you won't get the most amount of loot, but you will get enough, some, something around 400 to 600k if you look properly. 
Uh, and yeah, enjoy. I spawned next to Idea, so my first step would be going in, checking pharmacy, and then going straight to Idea offices. So typically when I go into the offices I tend to look for GPUs and Tetrises, sometimes you can find gold and G-phones, and if I have a huge backpack I will try to take all the more or less expensive electronics, such as uh, capacitors, wires, um, CPUs, and anything else I can find. After we finished looting the offices we're gonna go straight to TTS store. After looting TTS store, I will hop into Emercom and look for GPUs and some expensive medical items, such as uh, defibrillators and Lelexes. Then we'll quickly hop into German to look for those juicy Tetrises and GPUs. Sometimes I tend to hop into Mantis and look for the mats right next to the entrance. You can find Ledexes and other expensive mats in there. Checking if I can open Kiba, cause sometimes you can't hear from this area if the power has been activated and you will not hear any alarms. Checking Rasmussen and then later we'll check Techno for GPU statuses and all the other types of electronics. As you can see, I'm skipping the part of going up the escalator to loot the tech store upstairs. Many people came there and usually if you go there in the middle of the raid it's a huge trap and you're very likely to die. So my advice to you, if you don't go there in the beginning of the raid, don't. Don't, don't go there at all. Just skip it. The back of all, you should be looking for different small and expensive items, such as bolts, nuts, um, filters, hoses, and all the other stuff which can be used in uh, in the hideout.
and this is my typical route. Right now I will present you with a couple of my scab raids, so you can more or less understand how my scab raids typically go. Sometimes I die, sometimes I get betrayed by the scabs, so not every single scab raid you're going to be making lots of money, but if you follow my ways and you learn something from the next uh, couple of raids, you will definitely be able to make lots of money. Enjoy! Mm -hmm. Alright chat, look, so we spawn in idea, we check the timer, 13 minutes left, so probably no more PMCs on the map. First thing we're gonna check is gonna be ID offices. <clears throat> and this is exactly where I found GPU, right there, as a scav. So we're gonna check this area, and then we're gonna to go towards Ollie and check Ollie. Alright, pretty much we're done here. How much scav karma do you have? I think I'm at 4.7, maybe 5. You missed the DVD? I've missed it on purpose. I've missed it on purpose, my dude. Wow. That looks like a bait though. Toothpaste? How are you gonna brush your teeth then? Already overweight? I mean, I picked up quite a bit of stuff. I also got the armor, which is pretty heavy. The only problem is that my stamina is not restoring while I'm walking. That re I, I think I'll drop the armor. Yeah, yeah, I will. Otherwise it slows me down way too much. I don't trust him, go away. I don't like you. Let's check if that's a bot. Yeah, I, th I think that's a player. More toothpaste, clean teeth. Can he just go away? I don't like him, chat. I think he wants my ass. Bro, just leave me alone. What do you want? I 
All right, he went upstairs. Cool. Kill him? Listen, I went there. If he did follow me, I would have killed him. You don't lose karma when you leg others without killing. <clears throat> what if I leg him, but he has a painkiller? And then he's gonna find me and avenge his legs. Yeah, I'm pretty heavy now. Yep. And stamina is not recovering anymore. Oh, <laughs> same guy as me, chat. Same. With a pilgrim, barely walking. He's definitely overweight too. Like, I want him to know that I'm not hostile. Wait, that's a different one. That's a fucking PMC? Wait. Is that a PMC or a scav chat? Nah, everyone is a scav. That's a player scav, that's a player scav too. Where is he going? Oh, he's going for the stash. I see. <laughs> ah, you can't run, can you? Help. See ya! How do you see the difference between PMCs and the scav? Well, the more you play the game, uh, the easier it will be for you to determine if it's a PMC or a scav. But generally, PMCs and scavs have different clothing and different faces. <laughs> GG. <clears throat> 25 minutes left. Alrighty.
For example, right now I found a GPU and idea, and I had two extractions, Railway and Emercom. And I was more or less uh, within the same distance to both of them, and I decided to go Railway. Due to the reason that Emercom is being camped more often, and there are way more places I can get sniped shot from. That's why I decided to go Railway. Holy moly! Oi 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 Bye bye everyone, bye bye. Bye bye. Ten minutes left. Where is the best to find one? I would say Shoreline Nighttime. On uh, they usually spawn around the spine area. If you know what it is. Got a job interview in half an hour. Let's go. Smash it, my dude. Smash it. And I thought, fuck it, and you popped in. That's ballsy, bro. That's ballsy. Make sure you don't get caught. What's up, Nick? See you all next month. Damn. All right. Wish you a very productive month in that case.
Ooh, and another one. Nice. Someone fighting at extraction now. I love this emote, I use it in every stream I go in. I love it too, it's, it's my favorite as well. Now the propane here. Why do you scav run? You have so much money. Why does Bill Gates still work? He has so much money. Why does Elon Musk still keep working on Teslas and X Space? He has so much money, dude. Because they like it. Let's see how much money we made. 